All right, good morning. Well, man, I had a little light tragedy that happened this this weekend. Um, you know, remember I bought this feeder, right, for the fish, and uh, ever since then I've been having trouble. But right before then, you know, the water was kind of getting dark. It was getting darker and darker, but it got so dark that actually I'm draining it now, but all, all my fish died. And um, and it kind of helped. I, I, re I remembered about something. Uh, when I first started doing the aquaponics, it was like, uh, I think it was like 2009. 2009, when I first, my first time of doing it. And I had this same exact thing happen. And researching back then, um, which, like, I wasn't on YouTube or Google, I, I didn't do all that back then. I might have. I can't remember. I think I did. 2009, I probably did. But anyway, come to find out that the bass, as they grow, they eat more and they poop more. And that's what was going on here. Some of these, some of these little fish that I bought that were just little bitty, I don't know, three inches when I got them. You know, they were eight and nine inches long. Some of them were pretty big. Some of them were still small, maybe around six inches. But they were growing. And then they were eating like crazy. I, I, knew, I noticed that. Um, and I had this... I was feeding them more because I had this fear that if, if I didn't feed them that they were going to begin to eat each other. Because that's what they told me. Not that if I didn't feed them a lot they would eat, eat each other, but that they're known for eating each other like if you don't have enough they don't have enough to eat I'm still having a water leak in here I can't understand this I got in here yesterday redid everything in here with the, the water and this side here I keep getting the water leak I keep getting the leak and I changed the line but I just think it's I think it's the the quail. I think they I think they getting underneath the bowl and pushing up on it. And that's originally why at one time I had lowered the bowls when it couldn't get underneath them. Because if they get under the under the bowl and push up on it, the water will keep coming out. And I see one over there where one's sitting under it and the water's leaking out. I'm going to get in here today, I'm going to lower the bowls so they can't get under it. Because they are higher here. And I did lower these, and they're not under it, and I'm, we're looking good in here. There, there is some... They got water on it because they keep standing on it. I, I don't know why they're doing this now. I mean, I've been having this quail here for four years. Never had this problem, and now I'm having this problem. I just don't understand. I'm still trying to get the kinks out here. So I got that going on, and then the fish problem. So, one good thing about this, though, that's coming out of all this, is that actually tomorrow, which is going to be Tuesday, I'm shooting this on a Monday, Tuesday, the truck that sells fish, the pond fish, is going to be in my area. So I'm going to, I'm, I'll be able to, I'm only going to be, uh, what, two, three days out of not having fish, and, um, Actually, I was going to drain this all the way, but I don't think I need to. I think I'm good like this. This is going to be good, and then I'll fill it up. And uh, I don't have rainwater, so I'm going to fill it up. I have to go get some stuff to put in the water, the chlorine and all, to get for it to come out. Um, this is going to be fine, and I'm, I'm going to put my cat. I'm going to go back to the catfish, because that was the catfish never had problems. Now, now it will be in 2000, uh, 2022, so I started doing aquaponics 2009, and uh, ever since I cleared up that problem, that problem, that exact same problem I had in 2009, because I wanted the bass more than I wanted the catfish, I had, this is the problem I ran into. I forgot all about it, you know, because it, it happened once, 
I took care of the problem. I've been been running my aquaponics all these years, successfully doing great with it. I just totally forgot about the bass fish. I, I won't forget this time. So, so I get to get me some more fish tomorrow. So this is that's one thing good because before when I had this happen. Uh, I, I would have to wait sometimes a few months before the truck came around So we just got to just got the notice in I mean the day that this happened I got a notice in the mail that they were coming to the area. So I mean It really it kind of worked out good You know, it's a drag that this happened. It's a drag that I lost the fish um, But that's what happened so, I need to get in here and check for eggs. Um, I want to check for eggs. I'm having, I'm not having a good egg production going on right now, and maybe because it's hot, you know, we had a good run for a while. Maybe it's in the springtime, it does good, and then in the fall time, it does good. Good morning, ladies. Hey, Blue. How's the ladies doing? How's Blue doing? Okay, we got, we keep getting the one egg over here. And I think the, la I think the lady who keeps laying that one. But well, y'all, we need some more eggs, okay? Can y'all do me some more? Okay, thank you. But I, I get more with the, uh, the buffs, but they even slacked off too. So, um, let me go in here and look. Let's see what we got. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. him down I mean for nothing he comes down at night when they all go up the roots he comes down and that's when he eats okay I got to collect some uh, basil for my wife oh how could you cut, cut it off of this one here and some flowers on it okay back to the fish so now I'm gonna go get the catfish tomorrow so I'm gonna probably fill this thing up I'm not gonna empty no more water I wanted to leave some of the fish water in there because it's still feeding my my, uh, my celery and I think there's enough in there because of the fact that they uh, was making so much waste they made so much waste and this is what I found out last time that they, they make so much waste that in that little confined area there, well, it starts uh, using up the oxygen that's in the water, okay, the waste. And um, that's what happens. And they basically suffocate in, in, their, in their own water because they can't breathe. There's no oxygen. So that's basically what happened. And uh, I kind of caught it, and I was gonna, uh, and I, and I, start, I drained it once, and drained it down halfway, and refilled it up, and I had a few dead fish, and it was still alive, but I forgot, I had forgotten to plug, plug the pumps back in, and they went all night without any fresh oxygen being added to the water, and that, that was my fault, so I messed up on that, but. The problem would have happened anyway. The bigger they got, it, this problem would have happened. If, if I could, if I would have took care of the problem this time, 
a month from now, two months from now, this would have happened again, and I probably would have lost them just because they, they grow, they're growing. They're growing fast, and they eat so much. So, uh, lesson learned, right? And uh, I'm not going to do that again. All right, guys. Well, I'm on my way to go get some more fish. I got somebody here with me. <laughs> You're going to have to run the camera. I can't do it.
clean up my chicken coop. You know, they help me out. Yeah. Uh, they do a lot of plants, 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 all stuff. That's awesome. Yeah, pretty cool. I love doing it. The actual skills that the kids should be learning yeah, versus, you know. Look, eight years old. She cleans chicken coop. Nice. Eight years old. Stuff that I have in my home. Teach them young, you know. Catfish. Yep. Okay. Oh, you, you clean the catfish too? Oh, no, she had that. <laughs> well, the first time there, we had it. We had a uh, an apron on that glove. Cut the whole thing. Still cutting over it. She's like, they're coming to be too. See, I, I can't do it. It's all right. So the second time, I don't know if I can do it. You, know. you ever clean up the chicken? Well, anyway, it hugs. Get the fish to come say hi. Let's do it. Yeah, like the lungs are hard to get out. Okay. Can I can I stay in the back in the trunk with the fish? All they have over there. Price list. It's still running? Yeah. Oh, it's still running. Can I stay in the back of the fish? It's going to be hot back there. All right, well, I actually just met another person. It's two people, actually, I met that it's their first time um, buying from this company here. You know, there's it's not much to it it's just exciting you know Every, it's always exciting when you Turn get the car something new you hot baby yes what's the matter look how red you look <laughs> and you want to go in the back yeah let, let, the, let the van cool down a little bit before you go back there so All right, guys. We'll see you by the aquaponics, okay? All right. Bye. Bye. Huh? Bye. Bye. So are we making another part, or is this the end? No, we're gonna make. A Fish have whiskers. Do you see them? Yeah. I see the fish have whiskers on them. Open one at a time. Yeah, that bag's floating. Are they trying to jump off the bag? Are they going to fly into the water? Are they young? How old are they? They're six to eight inches long, so I don't know how old they are. Probably swim that way. They're gonna be afraid of us right now until they get used to us. There's plenty on the ground. All the fish. Because when I clean the water, I didn't clean it all the way, so there's, there's stuff on the bottom. I got plenty to eat.
All right, guys. Well, we got back. Just put the fish in the tank. And uh, all we can do at this point, wait and see how everything's going to go. Now, I'm not going to add no food right now because I kind of feel like there's a lot of food on the bottom they'll be able to eat off of. And catfish, are, they like to eat on the bottom anyway. So I'm pretty sure they're going to clean this tank out pretty good. So I bought 50 catfish that was six to eight feet tall. I mean, uh, tall. This is six, eight, eight, six inches to eight inches long. And uh, I got 50 of them in here. So that, that's a lot. Um, but that's what I normally use anyway. So um, so all we got to do is keep an eye on them. We'll see how they go. Huh? All right, guys. So that's going to be it for today's video. Did you even know I was sleeping in the car? Yeah, I did. And so, guys, we're going to see you on the next video. And... Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and comment. Please. <laughs> bye bye. All right, guys. Y'all be blessed. Bye. You want me to check for